This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Michelle Bachman's hired Ed Rollins, which is kind of interesting. Uh, he's an old hand. He worked uh, for Reagan uh, and many other Republicans uh, along the way. And uh, he comes in swinging. Uh, the first problem is the swings that he took against his own candidate before he signed up. And that's Michelle Bach. So before when he uh, appeared on CNN, um, uh, they were talking about this appearance that Michelle Bachman had after President Obama's State of the Union speech. You remember uh, Paul Ryan gave the response and then Michelle Bachman did a Tea Party response that no one really asked for and she was looking at the wrong camera and it was weird and creepy. Remember she was like, and let me tell you something about the President. He is totally dangerous. Okay, so Ed Rollins, after that appearance, said on CNN, quote, Michelle Bachman obviously is a member of Congress and a representative of the Tea Party. But at the end of the day, we have to get our serious players out front and talking about things that matter to, the, to be the alternative to the president and Democrats. Obviously, meaning that he did not find Bachman altogether to be that serious. Okay? Now, uh, when he was on MSNBC's Hardball at another occasion, uh, when asked about uh, all of this uh, and what kind of politician could win the GOP nomination, he said, quote, at the end of the day, you know, we're going to have a candidate who's been a governor, I assume. There's no Washingtonians in this mix. It ain't going to be Donald Trump. I don't think it's going to be Congresswoman Bachman. Oops. <laughs> okay. So when they ask him about it now, he's, they're like, now you're representing her. He says, well, my, regard, my comments regarding the State of the Union rebuttal uh, wasn't meant that she wasn't serious, except for I just read you the quote. It says she wasn't serious, right? Uh, it was just uh, she wasn't part of the leadership or committee chairman, and for that reason the mainstream media wasn't going to carry her message. No, but they had just carried it and they asked you about it, and you clearly seemed to indicate she wasn't one of the serious candidates. Well, look, he's got to try to spin his way out of it. And he, did, he was honest in the beginning, and he said, look, I said those comments before she hired me. <laughs> you gotta give him credit for honesty on that one. So he's like, now I'm getting paid for her by her. She's super serious. She's awesome. But then he turns around and he takes a shot at Palin. He says that Bachman is a serious candidate. He says Palin isn't serious. He says uh, Bachman has all the credentials and is in the House and is it, you know, working for the Republicans and says she is smart and just as attractive as Palin. Man, that's a lot of jabs. So, uh, in fact, here, let me uh, read it for you. Sarah's not been serious over the last couple of years. She got the vice presidential thing handed to her. She didn't go to work in the sense of trying to gain more substance. She gave up her governorship. And then talked about her looks and how Bachman's just as hot. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone in that direction. So, of course, here comes Sarah Palin. And ready to hit back, spokesperson for her Sarah Pack says, quote, Beltway political strategist Ed Rollins has a long, long track record of taking high-profile jobs and promptly sticking his foot in his mouth. So they're saying this guy is batty and uh, how dare you. Now, the Bachman camp then retreats a little bit and says, oh, no, 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 of course we didn't mean it that way against Sarah Palin. And, you know, Ed Rollins says, well, I haven't represented someone in a while, and I used to be an analyst, and I'm a little rusty, etc. But, look, I, I like Ed Rollins going in there and punching away. But the question is, is it on purpose? Now, remember, Ed Rollins is not just some old-school dude who represented Reagan. He represented Huckabee in the last election and won Iowa for Huckabee. So he's still a very relevant player. That's why Bachman hired him in the first place. So it's possible that... He just, in order to cover up for all the negative things he said about Bachman, he went on the attack against Palin and overstepped. It's also possible that Bachman was like, yeah, why don't you send her a little warning shot, saying, hey, you know what, you might not want to enter the race, it's going to get kind of ugly in here. And, and that that's why he took the shot against Palin. Look, if Bachman and Palin start fighting, like, for real, and they're actually running against one another, oh, that's going to be awesome. Because there's no way that Sarah Barracuda and crazy Michelle Bachman don't go below the belt in a hundred different ways, let alone the damage they're going to do to the other candidates. 
Oh, that's going to be fun, man. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. In fact, they have over 75,000 titles. And you can listen on your iPod or your MP3 player. You can uh, listen to it anywhere, at any time. It's incredibly convenient. And they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.